Have you ever pondered over the art of creating a fire in the great outdoors? Picture yourself deep in the wilderness surrounded by towering trees and the silence of nature. A fire in such a setting becomes more than just a source of warmth. It provides light, deters wildlife, and serves as a beacon for potential rescuers. But how does one conjure this life-saving blaze from the raw elements of nature? Let's embark on this enlightening journey together. The first step in this elemental dance is gathering the right materials. You'll need tinder, kindling, and fuel wood. Tinder, the initial spark of life for your fire, consists of small, easily combustible materials like dry grass, leaves, or bark shavings. Kindling, the next step up, includes slightly larger materials such as small twigs and branches. Lastly, fuel wood, the heart and soul of your fire, consists of large logs and branches. Once you've gathered your materials, it's time to construct your fire. Start by clearing a safe area for your fire. This should be away from vegetation and overhanging branches and ideally shielded from the wind. Next, lay your tinder in the center of your cleared space, forming a small pile. Light this tinder using a match, lighter, or if feeling particularly adventurous, a flint and steel. As the tinder begins to burn, add your kindling. Arrange it in a teepee or log cabin structure around the burning tinder. This allows oxygen to flow, feeding your fire and helping it grow. Once the kindling is ablaze, it's time to add your fuel wood. Follow the same structure as with the kindling, building up your fire slowly and steadily. Remember, a fire is a living thing it needs to breathe. Allow spaces for air to flow between your logs. And there you have it. A roaring fire born from the simple elements of nature is now at your command. To summarize, making a fire in the wilderness involves three key components, tinder, kindling, and fuel wood. Start by gathering these materials, ensuring they're as dry as possible. Next, clear a safe area and construct your fire, beginning with the tinder, then the kindling, and finally the fuel wood. Remember to always build your fire structures to allow for airflow. So next time you find yourself in the embrace of the wilderness, remember these steps. Conjure the life-saving warmth of a fire and bask in the primal satisfaction of creating something so elemental from the raw materials around you. This knowledge could make all the difference in a survival situation. It's a testament to human ingenuity, a beacon of hope in the wild, and a skill worth mastering.